Rodina means family in Czech, and that's what Rodina strives to be, is family. We focus on uh, local, sustainable, humanely raised products. Uh, most of our food comes from within 15 to 30 miles of here. After our first year of operation, uh, we felt like we'd really hit our stride, really found our voice in this community, and then COVID hit. The name of the game has been pivot and move and adapt. First thing that we did was carry out, and then we focused on our carry out cocktail business. We started a program called Feed the Frontline where we gave individuals an opportunity to purchase meals for frontline hospital workers. We probably put out close to a thousand meals for frontline workers over the span of three and a half to four months. The corner store is actually something that we had always wanted to try, which was really cool that we, I guess, had this opportunity to try out what that would look like. So our corner store, which offers um, local produce, dairy, um, specialty goods and items. It's a way for us to continue supporting some of our favorite purveyors and then offer just an added fun experience for guests. We were feeling this, this nice uptick um, and the derecho hit. We lost power for nine days, seven services. Derecho was the second time that we'd pretty much had it a gut our inventory and it's huge, it's tough. Yes, it's been a struggle and yes, it's been hard, but it has been really cool to see what our community is capable of. I felt warm and fuzzy when people came in after they all have been through this shared traumatic experience, both with COVID and with the derecho hitting. It feels heartwarming that we can offer people a place of escape. We have a consistent stream of individuals that tell us that we are the first restaurant that they have gone to since the COVID closures. And to be able to provide an environment where individuals feel safe to dine has always been number one. Eating is the one thing that actually unifies everybody. And to be able to sit down and just eat and share that experience, I think is, it can be an incredibly humbling experience if you allow it.